Hey everybody and welcome to the Mr. Bishi channel. Today's video I wanted to talk about waste gates and their purpose in the turbo setup and what the difference is between a vent to atmosphere pipe is and what a recirculation pipe is. So here we have our turbo mock-up engine here with uh, you know we got the manifold, the down pipe, charge pipe for reference and what we want to talk about here is this wastegate that we have right here. So this is a precision 39 mil wastegate. And as you can see, it gets attached to the manifold runner to be able to vent out the wastegate gases or the exhaust gases, sorry, so that the turbo doesn't overspin past its turbine speed. So basically in, in a, a short summary, the wastegate opens so that the exhaust gases don't make the turbo uh, push too much boost. Basically, once the wastegate sees the boost pressure on, um, there will be a port here on the bottom side of the wastegate. There's, it's clockable in multiple locations. It'll look similar to this port that's in the top here. But when it sees the boost pressure uh, target, so we have a, for example, here a little nipple coming off the end of the turbo. We could hook a vacuum line to the wastegate or we could have uh, it hooked to the manifold as long as it's getting a vacuum and boost reference that's what it needs inside of here we have a spring and a diaphragm that spring depending upon which one is chosen is going to open at a certain pressure level so say for example we want to run eight pounds of boost on our engine so we would put a spring rated for eight pounds into the wastegate and when the boost pressure coming from the line reaches eight pounds, it's going to push open the wastegate and allow the exhaust gases to bypass around the turbo instead of going through it. It's gonna come through here and then it's gonna come and go out this, the, the exhaust port of the wastegate. So this is basically what the wastegate's function is. There's a lot of things we can do for manipulating it with boost controllers, different spings. There's different types of wastegates as well too. This is an external version. That's the only one we really run because it can only get the enough, the enough flow that we need to prevent what's called boost creep. Boost creep is when you, um, ha you run more boost than the target that you're trying to get. So say for example, we have an eight PSI spring and the car actually is reaching 10 or you know any number higher than what the target spring is set. We call that creep. And the reason what creep usually happens is because usually that means that we don't have a big enough port to allow enough exhaust gases out so that the turbine can have its speed regulated. So with that in, uh, in mind, that's why we use an external gate because they tend to always be bigger than any internal gate you'll find. And that's uh, pretty much the reason for it. Now, the vent tube versus recirculation. So when the wastegate opens, which will be happen when we see target boost, this exhaust, there's a little valve in here, it's gonna open and the exhaust is gonna come out of this port. So a vent tube is literally a vent to atmosphere tube. It's a pipe that's just gonna go out to the bottom of the car or wherever, and it's going to vent off those gases. So the benefits of a vent tube are that one, we don't have to plummet back into the exhaust and we don't have to have the downpipe uh, with its exhaust flow be shared with the wastegate flow. This frees up more volume in the downpipe for it to be able to flow better. So usually a wastegate vent tube is better for power. Uh, the other thing about the wastegate vent tube that I wanna clear up some uh, uh, misconceptions here or any misinformation is that the wastegate will only have exhaust coming out of here when it opens. So it's not like a straight dump tube, like as if this were a dump tube going out the hood or something like that. The dump tube, you're only gonna hear it at full boost. So basically when you're idling or cruising, this guy's gonna be closed. You're not gonna hear anything. It's gonna sound like a stock car. But if you want the car to try to be quieter when you're under boost or in target boost, uh, the other method is called the recirculation pipe. So when I'm asking somebody, do you want a vent pipe? or a recirculation pipe, this is what I'm talking about. The recirculation pipe would connect back to the down pipe instead of going just straight to atmosphere. We would use a uh, flex uh, pipe that's rated for wastegates to be in place so that it can be easy to fit up and change with any changes in temperature will keep the pipes from cracking. This will make sure that we actually plumb the wastegate gases back into the down pipe. And for some people, that's more desirable. They want as quiet a car as they can possibly have with this kind of setup. That's the way to go. It is more costly to do the recirculation option. We do have to do more parts. There is more welding and time involved. Um, but I figured I would just go over this very quickly 
to try to get people a better idea of what is a vent pipe and what is a recirculation pipe and what is the wastegate and what does it do. Next time I go to change the springs on one of these, I'll make another video of how do you change your wastegate spring, what the top and bottom ports are used for, and how to hook up a boost controller. But we'll do that when we actually have the car out on the road and not being a jig. So for now, that's all for today for this video. Hopefully this helped clear up some information about this stuff, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care for now.